Our minders said we were going to a residential area in Tripoli which had been bombed, killing civilians and a young child. They said we would be there in about 10 minutes. After about half an hour, it became clear there was confusion. Nobody seemed to know exactly where we were going. They couldn't find the bomb site. Are we lost? Yes. Where are we going? We're looking for the house. The house that was bombed. Why don't you know where it is? We don't know where it is. We drove on, this time heading in a completely different direction across the city. Then our convoy of vehicles ground to a halt. These kinds of facilities are the only time we are allowed to leave the hotel. We were then driven back after about an hour and a half under virtual house arrest once more and without the evidence we had set out to find. We go there, we come back. I don't know what's happened. I've been here, it's now we go. Me too. What's going on? I don't know. So when, when they left, did they not, not even know where the house was? I'm asking you, Osama. He said, well, it couldn't Hussein have been a very big bomb, could it, if they couldn't find it? I don't it. know, uh, doctor. Uh, I don't know what's going on. We, we know the, the bomb at the house, some people is killed. But we go there. Where? But it couldn't have been a very big bomb if they couldn't find uh, it. Otherwise, everybody would be talking about it. Everybody would know. I don't know exactly. I, I speak serious. I don't know.